the rat sled I'll give you a little bit of an update on that I've been working like crazy that's why you haven't seen me on YouTube and also what I've been doing is I've been working a job as a laborer for a masonry company so like I I work pretty darn hard it's crazy crazy hard work and it's sort of out of my trade so uh, I've been talking to a lot of people and I've got a, an opportunity coming up to uh, hopefully get into the pipe welding union in this town here so I've got to practice some 6010 routes today and that's probably what we'll go over in this video I've uh, I've done it before, not much. Um, my buddy Travis ran me through a couple of them, um, probably about a year and a half ago now, maybe two years ago. So this would basically be a a whole new thing for me, really, rooting with 6010. So I um, yeah, that'll be fun. And also, we got a new camera, and I'm recording right now. I have a wide-angle lens put on it. And I'm going to pull that off too and record some stuff around the sled and just see if there's a difference. I'll go check it on my computer and see. But anyhow, that's about it. So guys, since you've seen last, the clutch was stuck onto the jack shaft. I ended up getting the clutch off. I uh, pulled all the retainer plates out. And in order to get uh, the jack shaft out now I just need to cut off this bearing with a grinder because it's seized on there and then I can get the jack shaft off and pull the track out of it and uh, then what we're gonna have to do is get the end of this jack shaft machined I'm gonna bring it to a machine shop hopefully or we're gonna do it ourselves where we'll figure it out but it's gotta fit this Articat clutch which uses a uh, I think a 16 spline or some splined uh, setup. It doesn't use a key wade shaft like that. So we'll get that taken care of. And we're going to run it di direct drive just like how it came from the factory because we found out it only has um, a 3 inch 3 inch drive cogs in there compared to like a lot of sleds that have like 6 and 7 inch um, cogs in there. So it uh, that smaller diameter makes a quicker rotation right so hopefully everything works out it's basically just a trial and error and anyhow I'm gonna end up cleaning all of the the rat sled stuff up and sort of putting it to the side and covering it up for now because we've got a big surprise coming on Wednesday and we need to make room for it in here can't uh, tell you guys too much yet but you'll see Alright guys, a little bit of a change of plans. We're just going to try uh, getting the welder going on my power here in my garage. We'll see how it works. We might end up blowing the breaker over and over again, but we'll see what happens. And um, if not, I have a couple family members here that have 50 amp service or a 50 amp plug in their garages so we can go over and use it and weld away. So anyhow, I'm going to start getting the welder set up in my uh, shed back there. Alright guys, I got my little makeshift uh, welding booth set up. Um, little tree, built that a long time ago. My dad brought it down for me. And uh, we're going to start off with just rooting. I got this little tip from one of the guys that's actually helping me out getting getting this opportunity here and he uses just one eighth flat bar to practice his roots on because uh, there's virtually no prep work involved and I'm going to use that just to start off and then as you've seen I got a whole bunch of pipe in the house and a whole bunch of plate too so uh, then we'll we'll bevel some pipe up dress some pipe and actually do a, a couple pipe tests and see what we can do so anyhow we'll get started YouTube, little bit of a pain in the ass there. As you can see, I could, can't get the welder going. I only have a 10 amp breaker. I went and checked, so 10 amps definitely isn't enough to get that welder going. So I'm gonna pack up my rods, a couple plates, and we're gonna fire up my car and go to my grandpa's house. It's way, way outside of town, but he has a welder in his garage already, a, uh, an AC/DC stick welder. So I'll be able to 
hopefully fire that up and get welding here nice and quickly. So we'll flash to his shop there. I checked out the welder. Looks good. There it is in the corner. It all turns on, so we're good to go on that note. Hey guys, another another failed attempt at uh, trying to get practice in here. The welder is not working. I don't know what's going on. I can get it to strike an arc periodically, and then I don't know if it's like slipping into a duty cycle early or something like that. But I caught a couple roots in there. That's it. I think they're yeah. I was penetrating at the end there when I finally got it going, but a uh, little bit of a lack there. But those uh, those sixty tens like to penetrate. That's their job. So anyhow, I'm going to. There's a 50 amp plug here, right here on the bench, so I'm going to hopefully get my other welder set up here on the 50 amp power, and then we are going to be golden to weld, I'm hoping. Hey YouTube, uh, we're just going to clean up the garage here, We're gonna, and then we're going to head over to pick up the new surprise. I just got to make some room, because uh, it's a big mess. So, I'll put the camera down and we'll tidy this up. guys we're uh, we're all cleaned up here so yeah Got the trailer hooked up and we're gonna get going all right guys one one little sneak peek well, that's all you get for now <laughs> hey YouTube I'm in a really big rush right now I just got home from work um, the video is like really really taking a turn here I know you're probably really confused I was welding and then suddenly I was cleaning out the garage but uh, we're sort of gonna hold off on what's in the garage um, I'll tell you we bought a new snowmobile that's about it so next video will be uh, unwrapping the new sled and I'll show you that and show you everything we got and uh, but for now I'm in a rush right now I gotta go for dinner with my grandpa and then we're going to go back out to his house with my welder and we're going to plug it into his 50 amp plug and see if we have some more luck now. Uh, hey guys, I just got out to my grandpa's house and there's kids out on the uh, lake skating around so now I'm all jacked up and I'm going to go back and get my skates before it gets dark out so that we can go for a skate out there. I'm just going to unload the welder quick and then we'll practice welding once it gets dark out there. Hey guys, I just got home from my grandpa's house. Sorry I didn't get any video, but uh, I got the welder going finally and had a little bit of success. Actually, I'd say I was successful, but uh, I got lots of practice to do. I can promise you that much. It's not going to be an easy test. And uh, I think a lot of other people will tell you that who have experienced welding. But uh, yeah, so keep watching. Next video, you'll get to see I'll unwrap the Polaris and get to see what we have in store for this winter because uh, I'm really excited. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.